performing for four superstars is a daunting prospect for any act. Any singer that comes for The Voice is taking a risk because you're putting your voice up for judgment. 33-year-old Danny Foster from London knows this better than most. Do you know, what's interesting for me is that I started my career on the first ever TV talent show. ESA was uh, an amazing, amazing time in my life. You know, we had the fastest selling debut album and single of all time. What have you been doing since ESA ended? I've just been grafting, really. Been doing gigs up and down the country. And obviously now I get to do me. 51-year-old Jay Aston was also in a famous band, one that took Europe by storm. I was in a pop group back in the 80s called Bucks Fizz. We had three number ones and we sold about 15 million albums and we travelled all around the world. And in 1981 we won Eurovision with a song called Making Your Mind Up. It was just a whirlwind of, of gloriousness actually. Tragically, it all ended when we had a really bad coach crash. I was paralysed down one side and I didn't know whether that would come back. I just had to leave. I think in a way I'm trying to pick up where I lost something out. <laughs> and I guess there's a bit of me that still wants to be heard. What's appealing for me is that the coaches cannot see me. So, in my mind, there's no judgment on Danny from hearsay. And everything is just judged purely on my voice. Sound like this before. Yeah. Tell me what I want, what I really, really want. So tell me what you want, what you really, really want. If you want my future, forget my past. If you want to get with me, you better make it clear. Now don't go wasting my precious time. Get your act together. Danny Foster, soul singer. I didn't turn around because it was good, but it wasn't, um, it wasn't amazing for me. And you look really familiar as well. <laughs> yeah, what's, what's your background? I used to be in a group called Hearsay, so... Hearsay, yeah. right, 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 right. OK, that's exactly what I mean. <laughs> so, I was in a pop group. Oh, right, I get I remember. it. And then came out of the pop group and then started the soul band, so... You know, for me, I actually quite like the tone of your voice. The track just, to me, just sounded a bit cabaret. And I mean that with the utmost respect, because cool, your voice cool. doesn't. Your voice, I think you have a really, really great voice. But if I was going to do that with your voice, if you're a bit more, I know you sing soul, but there's a bit of an edge to your voice, a bit of rock. I would have done, you know, something to support that grisly voice that you have, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was literally, that was the reason why I didn't turn around. You know, you sing really well, and I understand what, what you were trying to do, but it just didn't come together for me. Thanks for singing, folks. The idea was just to bring a pop song and flip it. For me, it was just about saying, this is me, I'm Danny Foster, you know, take it or leave it. And today they left it, you know. It's hard, man, you know what I mean? Turn around to someone, he was in a band, famous band, like, singles out, was on stage doing all the stuff and then sings here and then no one turns around, you know? 
With just five places left, could Danny's loss be Jay's gain? I could just end my career in 90 seconds or I could restart it. It's that simple. Now I feel like I'm a hundred times better than I used to be then, but nobody hears me. What's your name? Jay. Jay Aston. Hey, Jay Aston. Hiya. How long have you been singing? Ooh, about 33 years. <laughs> I used to be in a pop group in the, in the 80s called Bucks Fizz. <laughs> so it's a bit different from making your mind up. <laughs> For me, to be honest with you, it sometimes is so hard. Yeah, I mean, I'm not really a rock artist. Obviously. Yeah, that's the thing. It's really um, hard. It kind of just went like that for me. It stayed too kind of safe. And then right. you really started to show, I can do this, I want this, right at the end. And then before I kind of had a chance, it was finished. Yeah. Right. But you know, it, okay. was, it was good. I enjoyed it, it just wasn't for me. My advice again coming on the show is pick a song that's in your vein and really shows you off best. Because um, it did it kind of sound a bit like chalk and cheese, for, just for me, that's my personal okay. opinion. Again, no, no disrespect, you, you, you have more than enough credentials in the music industry. Again, but I applaud you for, for a performing course. Hi. Hi, Tom. For me, it's, 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 it's difficult to try and give my views on what you should do and what you shouldn't do, especially because you've, you've been in the business and you, you've been successful. Um, for me, I, 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 I felt that you need to control, as far as I'm concerned, your vibrato. You know, your vibrato is very strong. And on a lighter note, Buck's Fizz is my favorite drink. <laughs> Thank you very much for coming out. Oh, hey, darling. Look at you. Well, I mine. thought you were amazing. I really did. Thank you. I get so uncomfortable giving advice to people that are like been out in the in yeah. so awkward. I'm like, if the coaches turn now, they know they could miss out down the line. With time running out, can our next act get them pushing? <laughs>